Hi everyone, I'm Fabio from High Hertz Project and today I have the pleasure to present you this amazing bass. This is the Lockland Skyline series Gizer Butler Signature PJ. This bass is really amazing. As you can see, the look, I really like the look because purple, magenta is my favorite color. I know it's really, really strange, but it's my favorite color. So the look is amazing, as you can see. Uh, the color is gloss for the body, but is translucent, so you can see the wood grain of this base is really, really amazing. While the neck is all in maple and it's matte, so it's really fast to use, really great. I love the build quality of this base because as soon as you put your hands on this base, you can recognize the high quality. You can listen here on the edge of the neck that basically you cannot listen any fret here. It's, it's really, really smooth. I really like lovely black tuners, hip shot tuners, uh, lovely front black gloss headstock. I really love the look. And it's really strange also the parallel work that has been made here on the neck because there is also a small portion of each perloid which has habalon. I guess. Talking about the electronics, you have EMG pickups, signature from Gizzer Butler. Gizzer Butler is the bassist of uh, Black Sabbath, if you don't know. Uh, bridge is a Lockland original bridge, and you can find two volumes, one per each position of the pickups and one overall tone. Another great uh, looking thing about this bass is this pickguard. This pickguard is in aluminum, anodized aluminum, and it's uh, matte black. It's really great, guys. Really, really great. The only downside that I've noticed about uh, this uh, base is the shift color. Basically, if you can see behind, you can notice that it's not really purple homogeneous color, but you can see some shift to yellow, more warm purple. And let me say also, if this is called purple, it's not really purple, it's more pink, light purple, because you can see it's really light. Maybe it's also due to the fact that you can see the wood grain, so it's not a solid color. Can also depends on the kind of wood that you can have behind the, the paint. So now let's talk about the sound. I am not a bassist. I'm so sorry, today I play the bass with uh, uh, the pick. I try to play with the finger a bit, but I'm not really able, so please do not laugh. I wanna start showing you the DI signal of the bass, so there are no any processing, and then I'll amp the bass to show you the normal routing and normal environment, for example, for your live stage. So let's start listening the first pickup that is the neck pickup, it's more middle pickup. Let's listen. Okay, reach of mids. Now let's switch to the bridge pickup. Okay, now let's combine together the two pickups and this is the combination that I prefer because basically is already pre-mixed. You can cut the too much mids that you can get and get a really great tone for rock and metal.
If you can see, uh, there are just a bit of bass noise from the strings. Maybe it's also because I'm not really able to play with finger, but I really like how it's been set. This is the factory settings. So I've received the bass exactly how it is, and I've received without any uh, case, so only in its box. And let me say, I really like to have just a bit of bass noise because guys, this is a strings instrument. So you have to listen the string. So let's now switch to the pick and let's listen the sound of the first pickup. So near the neck. Let's now switch to the bridge pickup. Let's now combine the two pickups. Okay, now Let's listen the sound with the bass amp. Okay, I've just amped the bass with my quad cortex. I'm using really simple line routing with a compressor, um, amplifier is the simulation of an ampeg, and a simple 8x10 cabinet. And just a bit of reverb because it's better. So let's start with only the pickup on the neck. Let's switch now to the pickup at the bridge. And finally combining the two pickups.
Let me say the pickups are really silent. Even with all the way up knobs, I can hear anything, any noise, nothing. It's really, really a great bass. Looks really, really cool, as you can see. Guys, thank you so much for watching. It was Fabio from Higher Heads Project, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.